Hello and welcome to Hot Topics and Hypnotherapy. If you are just joining us, today we're learning about hypnotic entrainment music with our guest Lee Spusta. <laughs> Lee has been um, fantastic in showing us um, the type of music he's been developing and he, um, we left off on your products, the type of products that you offer. Sure. I have a series of CDs that I've created and each one has kind of its own intention behind it uh, as far as how I approached it. All of it's using the same kind of um, uh, cymatics approach, uh, which I, I say cymatics because it's, I have, use a blend of different entrainment um, methods. Um, and so, you know, the first one I created was called Distant Images, and that one really, each track that you listen to is a little bit different, and so it's really kind of a journey that changes and, and moves as it goes along. And so, you know, it's very trance-inducing, but when you listen to it, it has a tendency to kind of move you in different ways as you move through it. And uh, it's, it's just an interesting experience, and it has a tendency to drop you deeper and deeper as you listen to it. The second one I created was called uh, Mystic Ascension, and that one has a little bit more of a, uh, once you're into this alpha kind of state, it kind of keeps you there for a while. The music doesn't change as dynamically but there are different tracks on it and the intention for that one is for people not only to use it for meditation self-hypnosis um, but just to to get into the state and and just kind of stay in that kind of zen like place so it's not once you're there it doesn't kind of move around too much uh, the third one I came up with was called uh, opus magnum and that one um, which means the great work in Latin and it's it was inspired with the idea of translating sacred geometry into sound. And for people who are familiar with Western traditions of mysticism or meditation or occult concepts, there's this idea of the Opus Magnum is the great work, which you're trying to um, kind of raise your, your, your level of yourself up to this higher and higher level, and you're, you're really trying to... We all want to levitate. Yeah, <laughs> apotheosis, uh, I guess, is really the, the best word to define it, which is striving to become as divine as, as you can possibly be, right? Definitely. And, and so it's... Which by, really runs along the lines of hypnotherapy and striving sure, to yeah, be the best. It's all self-enhancement and Definitely. bettering yourself. And, and so by listening to it, you're attuning yourself to these different, uh, not only the frequencies for the entrainment purpose, but also then the relationships between this tone and that one have this, um, the golden ratio is something I used a lot in there, which that's the math in the universe that is why things spiral and it's, you know, it's, uh, they call it the golden ratio. And How so, would we find these products? Oh, uh, my website, yeah. cymatics.com, so Cymatics that's www.psimatix.com. And I have downloads or CDs, and you can check it out. Also on YouTube, if you go to youtube.com slash Lee mm -hmm. I have a lot of samples and, and videos, so there's a lot of visuals that you can check out and watch while you're listening. Um, and uh, I also created a chakra attunement series, too. Oh, wow. And uh, that one, for people that know about the chakras, yeah, um, each chakra, there's seven of them in, in, in the body that kind of correspond with the endocrine glands in the body, and then the organs that are associated with them and whatnot. But also there's a mental and emotional sphere and a mental sphere attached to each of them. And so as you're listening to each 15 minute track, then you can do the process of, um, they call it attuning or an attunement of just kind of harmonizing with the sound and focusing on the concepts and ideas that are gonna strengthen that chakra and or you know, working through the issues that you have that might be associated with that chakra and you can use the music to kind of help you just it just spearheads your focus to do that lee this is so unconventional which came first the hypnotherapy or the well, for me yes uh you know that's i can't answer that because it's just like it all combines there, it, yeah i've been a musician for for a longer time than i've been involved in hypnosis so, you know, I think that that was probably the first seed that was planted. It's like, okay, music does something. Yeah. It's not just, you know, yeah, and you listen to Jimi Hendrix, it's great, and you're, you're, you know, feeling it. But also the relaxation benefits of some of the new age music, things like that, um, intrigued me. And then the music of India uh, just fascinated me. And, and, you know, in India, they, they do draw more of a connection between 
spirituality and, and sound and music and the Om is something probably most people are familiar with, chanting Om, Om over and over again. Om in Sanskrit means the sound Do of the universe. Do we want to try it? We could. I don't know if we have time, yeah. but, uh, but it's something anybody can practice at home. You start resonating with that tone, and it's a simple exercise, but it has a profound effect the more you do it. And you, it, it's calming, it's centering, it, it helps focus, and it moves you into this alpha state very naturally and very easily. And so, and hypnosis... And you said you incorporated that into a sound bed, yes. and the sound bed brings vibrations to the body That's right. as well. How have you found um, that that's actually helped in the deep, because it does carry you and take you even deeper, but the actual yeah. body physical connection. Well, you're, you're incorporating more senses. So you're, you're getting a more holistic or a more engulfing systemic kind of uh, experience of being in an altered state. And so you can move more deeply into it. Um, but just like, you know, for massage, people use vibration because mm -hmm. it just, it cuts through stress. That's just what it does. What's the average time frame? The time oh. frame you would you would do you follow through the entire CD? How many tracks it are depends. on a CD? It depends on average uh, length of a CD is anywhere between uh, half an hour and forty five minutes, and okay. and, it, and that's the session will be anywhere between those times mm -hmm. as far as the music part of it. So uh, and there's different approaches. You can give suggestions just like you would with uh, standard hypnosis uh, along with the music, or you can do an imagery process that kind of incorporates the ebbs and flows of the sound. Or you can, and I often do, just work with the person cognitively a little bit mm -hmm. and then give them the time and the space to experience the music themselves. And sure. what's interesting is the way the intention of the universe and yourself works, mm -hmm. the very things that you need to focus on are the things that kind of come up for you in, in this space of resolution and expansion. Mm -hmm. So that uh, it's like your own therapeutic process will unfold as you're experiencing that. Definitely. That's what I found with your, your music. It's very, very powerful. And how long have you been developing this music? Uh, I guess about a decade. Um, maybe a bit, you know, experimenting earlier than that, but yeah, I guess about a decade ago I, I really came across the conclusion that, okay, you know, I'm going to do something with mm -hmm. this. I'm going to find out what makes it, you know, music work to facilitate mm -hmm. trance and things like that. And uh, about that long. Wow, that's fantastic. And if you could repeat your website out okay. for us one more time. Sure, so www.cymatics.com, P-S-I-M-A-T-I-X.com. I do CD production as well for people that want to create their own hypnotherapy products. And so I have a studio where people can come in and record, and then I can edit the voice together, and we can use Cymatics music underneath it in order to uh, kind of really put the whole thing together in a holistic, nice package. And so I'm just putting that out there for people that are interested That's in creating powerful. product. very powerful, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. I know that it appears that our time is running low, and we definitely appreciate everything. And I just want to thank our guest, Lee Spusta, once again for telling us about hypnotic entrainment music. <laughs> for more information, you can find him at www. Cymatics, that's P S I M A T I X dot com. And thank you at home for watching the show. My name is Alta Lainez, and I hope you will join us next time when we explore more hot topics in hypnotherapy. Please stay tuned. We have a lot more coming up for you on HMI Web TV, Hypnotherapy Television 24 7.